Well, it's over. Didn't really want to make this my comeback video, but like, that's life, I guess. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, the official Twitter account for legendary electronic music label PC Music posted this link. The link in question led to an official statement on their website announcing their disbandment, along with a 100-minute mix celebrating their 10-year anniversary. Suffice it to say, this was not great news. I do find it funny that AG and company chose the 10-year anniversary to make this announcement, because like, this is supposed to be a happy time, but whatever, you just gotta be extra like that. Since the most popular videos on this channel are about PC music projects, I did want to comment on this and unpack what exactly this message means, because in reality it's more than just a disbandment notice and a new mix. I also want to take some time to talk about how we got here, and why the label is even disbanding in the first place. But first, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, and check out these videos if you haven't already. If you're here for content about PC music, these are definitely some good supplementary material. If I do say so myself. <laughs> The first part of this message announces the disbandment of PC Music, reading as follows. After a decade of activity, 2023 will be PC Music's final year of new releases. Following that, the label will be dedicated to archival projects and special reissues. Wah wah. This first part is pretty self-explanatory and very disappointing. The fact that we aren't getting any more new PC music after the end of this year fucking sucks, not to mince words. But the second half of the message does give me some hope. I would love to hear some reissues of early GFOTY or Daniel Harrell, and maybe even some previously unheard material from people like Easy Fun or something. As long as we're being fed, I guess I'm not that mad. Just disappointed. The second part of this message also gives us some exciting news, with the announcement of what seems to be a bunch of new music before the end of the year. I really do hope that PC music goes out with a bang quality-wise, because, well, this decade has not been the best for them. But more on that later. The last part of the message includes what's called 10, or the 100-minute mix that was released coinciding with the 10-year anniversary of the label itself. This mix gives 10 current and past PC music artists 10 minutes of material each, which is mostly made up of remixes of their previous releases. I'm listening to it as I write this video, and for the most part it slaps, I'd give it a listen. Basically, to sum up my feelings on this message, I don't think this is a terrible way to go out as a record label. It definitely doesn't feel unceremonious because of the announcement coinciding with their 10-year anniversary, and the promise of a bunch of new music coming soon is a plus as well. But at the same time, it's hard not to feel a little sad about all of it. PC Music, at least for me, has been such a defining label and movement in general. It was essential when I was discovering my music taste as a teenager, and hearing that it's gonna be over feels like a family pet is dying or something. However, continuing the simile, sometimes you just gotta come to terms with the fact that it's time to put the dog down. I don't think it's a huge secret that PC Music has not had the best output in the last few years. In fact, most of the reactions I've seen on Twitter about this disbandment news included a lot of comments about how it's like about time, or how because of the last few years a lot of people don't really want PC Music to continue in the first place. I definitely get this argument, and I pretty much agree. Right around 2020 is when the quality of PC Music started to dip a little, and I think the sudden popularity of Hyperpop had a lot to do with it. I blame Dylan Brady. You're behind all this? Even A.G. Cook himself bought into the trend, which very much says a lot about the state that the label was in at the time, and with the rise of hyperpop came the fall of PC music. What's funny to me though is that it seems like hyperpop itself is considered a dead fad as of 2023. It basically had the lifespan that PC music lived in 10 years but condensed it down to like 3. And that's being generous, it's more like two. Going back to PC Music though, the rate of new artists signing to the label started to decrease around 2020, and honestly the quality of the new signees themselves did not help either. If I were AG and one of my new label signees released an 8 second song, I'd honestly be pretty pissed. Also if you're wondering, I'm not going to keep ragging on Apple here, I've put that album through enough. But as this new decade went on, it felt like there was a lack of ceremony behind new PC Music releases. Quality wise, none of these projects were rivaling iconic past releases like GFOTY books, PC Music Volumes 1 or 2, or Reflections by Hannah Diamond. By the way, I know Reflections came out in 2020, technically, but literally everything on it was either previously released or out in the world via like live performances or mixes, so I consider it to be old PC music. She was trapped in Neji's basement at the time anyways. I would say Unlimited Ammo by Namasendo was the closest project to reach the heights of these older ones. It's pretty great, but even she isn't signed to the label anymore, which really shocked me when I looked it up. All of this to say that it honestly might be a good thing that PC music is ending. The label had its moment in the mid-2010s, but that moment has unfortunately long since passed. There's a lot of factors that could explain why this is, but in reality, buzzy music labels like PC Music typically run this course. Either a label is consistent and low-key with their releases and they last the long run, labels like Cranky or Sub Pop come to mind when I say that, or a label has a big burst onto the music scene and it's all anyone can talk about until, well, it 
isn't. Unfortunately, PC Music is an example of the latter, and though I really do love the label, I'm not too proud to admit that it's past its prime. I don't think it has that this is an obvious fad stigma attached to it like Hyperpop does, mainly because it's a label and not a microgenre, but the longevity of PC Music didn't end up looking like what a lot of people thought it would. Regardless, I'm happy for the good music it gave us for these past 10 years, and I'm excited to see what new music we get before the end of the year. That's about it for this video, sorry it's a little short, but this is really just a reaction to the news and not meant to be like a big project or anything. I'm in the middle of a lot of big life changes right now, and I am definitely not in the place to post regular content, but trust that I've been writing a lot and the shit will come out eventually. I just need to settle down and find the time to record it. Until next time, hugs and kisses.